In an update to our earlier news story, the young teenager who was bitten by a radioactive spider while visiting the Science Museum on a field trip is now in stable condition and back at home in Queens with his aunt. A sign of hope things may be getting back to normal for Queen Anne's County families, Queen Anne's County Parks and Rec summer camps are planning to start in June, and it's a welcome relief for kids and parents. Schools are about to be out for summer, but it may already feel like summer break for many kids who've been attending school virtually all or part of their week. A big question on the minds of parents and kids alike. Are camps on this summer? We couldn't be more excited. Uh, camps are back for 2021. We're planning an eight-week camp season starting on June 21st and running through August 13th. Queen Anne's County Parks and Recreation Coordinator Stacy Voorhees tells me, Parents are relieved to hear their kids will have an option to get out of the house and enjoy some fun time with their friends at the variety of summer camps that they have to offer. This summer, families can choose from Discover Summer Recreation Camps, various sports camps, and there are even a few steam camp options made available through a partnership with Challenge Island. Of course, the health and safety of the campers and staff still remains a top priority. Our goal is to provide a top-notch experience full of fun activities that keep campers engaged and create memories that will last long after the summer. We're certain we can do just that while keeping the health and safety of our campers at the forefront of our minds. We'll be spacing kids out and physically distancing whenever possible, as well as enhancing our cleaning protocols, encouraging regular hand washing and sanitizing after each activity, and face coverings will be required indoors and are strongly recommended when feasible outdoors and physical distancing can't be maintained. Sick children will also need to stay home. More than providing some social fun and interaction for the kids, having the Parks and Recreation Camp option available may also relieve some household tension. Yeah, I can't wait to get back to normal, you know, get the kids out of the, hey, 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 put that down, stop messing with that TV. Quit we know this is a stressful time for a lot of families. If we can take that portion of their family, their children, their most prized possession, and provide a fun, memorable, and ultimately safe experience so that they can focus on everything else they need to focus on during these times, that's a big help for these families. <laughs> now, if you don't want to miss out on summer camps, head over to the Queen Anne's County Parks and Recreation website www.parksandrec.org for details on how to register online. Now guys, I know these kids are ready to get out of the house and interact with their friends this summer. I know all the kids and parents are ready for a break. We could all use a break. In fact, I think I want to go to a camp this summer. <laughs> Speaking of summer, I've got the five-day extended outlook right here. On Monday, it's going to be a beautiful day, maybe a few clouds towards the end of the day. Tuesday, not a cloud in the sky. Take the family, pack a picnic, go to Lake Oregana, drink some green milk, and enjoy the day. Wednesday, with Governor Tarkin Appreciation Day, I hear the Empire is bringing a surprise for us. Maybe some uh, fireworks towards the end of the day. Should be beautiful. On Thursday and Friday, um, do you know that Dagobah actually has a working ecosystem that you can take the kids to indoors, got some trees for them to climb on, and uh, you enjoy the rest of your week there, Alderon Utini. Back to you. <laughs>